determination with that one. Knowledge itself. Determination with that one. Knowledge itself. Determination. But yeah, like I was saying, it, it, it that's what that's what all this shit basically does. It basically it basically effeminate the man and you know emasculate the woman. You know what I'm saying? And and you know and cause confusion in the you know amongst the sexes. You know what I'm saying? It it, it it promotes homosexuality, all that type of stuff. You understand what I'm saying? Basically, you know what I mean. So, at the end of the day, we 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 shouldn't be too all caught up in this old digital age shit. You know what right, I'm saying? Right. I ain't saying. I'll be saying here lying to you. So I'm saying like I don't use the computer and all that shit. Yeah, I'm saying use it, but be aware of the time you putting into it. Mm-hmm. And your interactions on it, that's all I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? Look at the levels of obesity over the last 20 years, man. I mean, it's the PlayStation era, more or less. When we were young, you know, we played football. Like, even if you didn't want to play, you played. You played. Play. You was outside winter time, whatever. Yep, yep. We outside, and you know what I'm saying? We'd be outside summer, winter, whenever. Summertime, we playing we playing basketball. We playing something in wintertime. We playing football. We we always interact. Niggas, niggas hit up the parks and all that. Mm-hmm. The youth not doing that on. We had the game systems. We was playing Bulls versus Blazers and all. All that, all them old school games on the old school Nintendo. So we had all that too. But we were still, we we were still in, we were still in tune with outside and with each other and with people, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Something changed, man. Sure, you don't gotta go nowhere, man. Like you said, man, you get a Bluetooth. You get Call of Duty. <laughs> yeah, you can play with about 30 motherfuckers at one time. Exactly, you know? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Where you from, son? Y'all from the right? You know what I'm saying? You know, it's just crazy, yo. I'm not saying I don't do these things. Let me, you know what I mean, get that clear. I'm not one of them persons. I'm hypocritical people. Right. You know what I'm saying? I do everything like everybody else do. I'm aware of it, and I don't deal with it savagely, and that's not all I do. Right. I do right. everything. You understand? I'm a part of everything, man. I'm not just one. I'm not a one-dimensional person. You see what right, I'm saying? Right, and that's right. our, and that's a lot of our problems, even in the conscious community. Outside, a lot of us just be one dimension. We just enter what we into. And I ain't knocking. You know what I'm saying? That's maybe you know that's float your boat. Maybe that's all some people can handle. But in all reality, we need to be more 360 with our shit. You know what I'm saying? Definitely, we need to definitely. be into everything. We just don't need to be. That's what I'm saying. We just don't need to be inside all day. Just nothing. And I don't need to get outside amongst the community because that's that's where the problem the problem's outside, man. We have to get outside and face it. That's why a lot of our brothers and sisters don't even know a lot of brothers and sisters don't even know this problem going on outside. Mm. Cause they not out there. Right, right. You got Negroes sitting behind their computer all day just talking shit, nigga, get out there, nigga, and see for yourself, like my nigga, shit fuck up. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? Same shit, like shit, I I, I go outside and I've been this is shit with me. This is why, like, I know, I know the enemy. I faced the enemy head on numerous of times. You understand what I'm saying? I've been outside numerous of times and, and had my um, rights taken from me. Like I was, uh, uh, like I was a so-called foreigner or whatever the hell they want to call it or whatever, you know what okay, I'm saying? Okay, okay. You know, like how they so-called talking about today. This bullshit, what they talking about with the um, Mexican immigrants, they got to show ID now or get arrested. Get the, man, you know how many times that shit happened to me, man? I'm like, yo, why, why they even bringing that shit? That, that I feel insulted. They making such a big deal about that on some real shit. You know mm -hmm. why? Because that shit happened every fucking day in every major city on this, on, on this fucking side of this fucking hemisphere, whatever. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? They can't even sit up there in front. First thing they do, nigga, like anytime you run across the port, first thing they do, even, yo, you don't got to do nothing. You... Like, you outside in the ghetto, my nigga, you ain't have to do nothing. You can just be outside. The first thing they're going to do, they're going to hop out. Hey, do you have any ID? Why? Did, what did I do? Do you have any ID? Like, yo, what did I do? I didn't do nothing. I'm walking. I'm coming from the store. I have two, uh, a, a, a gallon of water and a two liter in, my, in a fucking bag. Like, what happened? What's the problem? Mm -hmm. No, I just want to know. Do you have any ID? No, no, don't question me. Then it turns to a big tussle and they want to beat you up and lock you up and everything. This happened to me before, man, more than once, man. You understand what I'm saying? So, so, so she was wild. They, they, they got some nerve to bring it up, talking about, um, oh, this, this thing, the Mexicans, immigrants, and how, you know, they this is not 
right, your human rights and all that shit. What about the brothers, man? Like, for real, this ain't no disrespect to my South American and Central American brothers that know they my brother and all. This ain't no disrespect to them right. or nothing like that. I love them. I'm just saying, come on, man. Like, that happens to that happens to us daily. It doesn't happen to me. I know it happened to everybody I know them. It happens to me, man. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Come on, man. Daily. You know what I'm saying? Not all, it, it happens so much to us that we're used to it. But you know what the difference is, man? Our brothers from um, Central and South America... They stand up and they write about it. They they make sure their voices is heard. You know what I mean? True. Yeah. True. But ah, uh, see, that's going back now to the digital time and all that. See how we gotta get back. And everything correlates. Three hundred sixty you know degrees. What I'm it may seem as chaotic, but it's all in tune. Because see, a lot of the immigrants and all that type of shit, the Mexicans and all that. That, that, and the South Americans and all that, that be wilding and all that, they not all indulged in the digital world as much as we are indulged in the digital world as, right, as black right. people and all that, or, you know, whatever, Moorish or whatever you want to call yourself or whatever. You understand what I'm saying? Like, we are indulged in it way, way more than the South American brothers in the Central. So, that, so that's why they riot more, because they not mind controlled as much as we are. We some mind control motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because we all caught up in the technology. All that shit is mind control, man. On cell towers and all. All that shit, cell phone, all that shit. For, that's frequency fucking. We mind control, man. You know what I'm saying? It is a project which builds on the recent advances of neural mapping of the human brain. And its intent is to directly, uh, electromagnetically, communicate with the brain, dispatching messages to soldiers in the field instantly. Uh, this required a computer which could think like a human brain and understand it analytically. So an experimental neural network processor was chosen. A truly cognitive computer that could perform parallel functions a million times faster than the human brain, capable of monitoring hundreds, even thousands of subjects simultaneously. Now, we found a way to deploy its analog thoughts and to transmit them instantly via small microwave towers. Like the, the, like the brothers from down there and all that shit, they're not as monitors. You could even tell with them, they don't have as many single parent homes as we have. Right, right. So you know that they, they doing a little bit better than we doing. You understand? You know, a lot of us try to blame the single parent homes on the brother or then they try to blame us. So they ain't about none of that, man. It's we all mind controlled, man. You know what I'm saying? We all went through, all, if you peep when all that shit started, my nigga, all that shit started. Once we started, once like, music, like like during like, you know, the 60s and 70s. Before that, you know, black homes, you know, I ain't saying it was perfect or like, you know, it wasn't fighting amongst the, the parents and all that shit, but it would be more togetherness and it wouldn't be as many single parent homes. Black is beautiful, man. That was yeah. a slogan in the 60s and 70s. You understand? Man. What what happened was that they they started, you know, it started with, with like, you know, they started putting us into the, you know, we've been all the artists and the music artists on it, but they start showing it on television. They start Hollywood in it. Good you know times. what I'm saying? Good, ah, good, good times, times, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shit like that. Now, I mean, even a little bit of Motown, you know what I'm saying? They start showing sex, you know, how the women all, you know what I mean? They have the men all pop up with a Rolling Stone type shit. All these two types of have an effect on niggas. Like, man, fuck that, wherever I lay my hat, my home. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, just like now, right hip hop. Just like, yeah, just like yeah. now with the hip hop, like, yo, uh, uh, it's, the, it's, the, it's the pop culture and all that which influenced our way of living. And, you know what I mean? We start leaving the woman astray, the woman start looking elsewhere, you know what I'm saying? She mm -hmm. start getting real hectic, you know what I'm saying, during right, the time. Right. 